Hey, Elliot Roger here. Hey, this is uh, Elliot Roger, back from the grave, here to talk about why I hate women. Nah, just kidding, just kidding. A, um, I mean dangerous. Well, basically, yes and no. Um, I think men and women who live alone, they're kind of frowned upon in society in general. Uh, perhaps even women even more so. Like, you think of a, an old unmarried lady, 40s or 50s, she's got 20 cats, but no kids, no husband. That's the kind of stuff that you get burned at the stake back in the day. Uh, but unless you're a nun or something, or a priest, people kind of think it's weird. You know, that creepy old bachelor. So even if you're a man and uh, you're unmarried, it's kind of like, oh, well, what's wrong with you? Like, can't you get a wife or something? Or there must be something weird in your head if you, if you are alone. So there is that element of um, people... I'm not quite sure, maybe you're a bit unpredictable, but dangerous if you're alone. So there is that element which could apply to both men and women. But when it comes to being dangerous, men are seen as being far more dangerous than women. Now, men are dangerous, okay? We're more dangerous than women. I'm not saying women can't be dangerous, and especially there's certain ways they can be very dangerous. They're cunning, sneaky ways. But overtly, physical violence, um, that men are stronger. So... They're more of a physical threat, more of an intimidating factor. You look at people in the military, it's men. People in the police, the uh, it's men, you know. Um, the thugs, the criminals, the gangbangers, it's men. Uh, at the very least, a potential threat. You know, you can kind of look at someone and size them up and estimate the amount of damage they could do. For example, let's say you're at a nightclub, you know, if a woman kind of throws a hissy fit or pushes someone, often she doesn't get thrown out. And uh, although there's lots of reasons for this, one of the reasons is she's just not seen as being dangerous. She's not going to put up much of a fight, really. Uh, you get some big guy, you know, he might be a black belt or something, might be in the military, and he's drunk as... That guy could do some damage, potentially. So if he's causing a bit of a ruckus, he's he probably going to get kicked out. Because he's more dangerous. Now, what does this mean for Migta? Well, firstly, all MGTOWs are men. So there is that. Uh, that means that all MGTOWs are potentially dangerous, just like any other man. But MGTOWs are all different guys because they're all doing their own thing. They're all going their own way. But a lot of MGTOWs have views like uh, women shouldn't vote because they don't have the same responsibilities as men. They shouldn't have the same entitlements. Uh, or a lot of things that MGTOWs say women don't like it and they say it's misogyny it's chauvinism it's hateful so i guess maybe say like a feminist lady like chanty binks or trickly puff might get this image in their head that if they're hearing stuff like that even if it's well justified it kind of hurts their feels they might get triggered and all they really see is a wife beater domestic violator a rapist uh and so on and that means that they see you as a th beyond that though um if you look at the word dangerous it doesn't just mean immediate physical threats it you know you could endanger a political establishment if your opposing political establishment is more successful so for example similarly a lot of the things MGTOWs are saying their logic their philosophy, their justification, their data. It is dangerous, dangerous data. Because it goes against the grain a lot. It's kind of upsetting the status quo. And for a lot of people, that could be dangerous. Um, give you an example right now, um, marriage. Uh, I saw an article recently, was about um, women are don't, not want to get married. They don't want to get married. And uh, this is bad for men. It's, <laughs> that's bullshit. It's the other way around. If anything, men are leaving marriage. And this is kind of upsetting women. Who will be their breadwinner? Who would be their meal ticket? If a substantial amount of guys exit marriage. Though there will be some implications for society as a whole. On the whole, the people who are going to lose something is the woman. And therefore that makes MGTOW men dangerous, albeit in a different way. So are MGTOWs, uh, MGTOW guys dangerous? No, no they're not, uh, at least not any more than 
the given population of men and the way that all men can be potentially dangerous in a physical intimidating way uh but yes they are dangerous in the sense that they upset the the status quo and they're going against the grain a bit this could be dangerous for women in the sense that they have something uh something to lose which could be you know access to resources or access to social status through marriage or what have you 